Okay, I think we can start now. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, thank you, Jan, for joining us. Uh, we're waiting for Albin to join, but I think we can start with you. Yes. Uh, now we're going to have uh, a session uh, on Wikidata. Its title is Add Your Country to the Wikidata Go Directory. Uh, Jan, if you're ready, you can start. Yes, I am ready. And Albin will pick up when he comes in. So we're going to present to you a wiki project that we started this summer. It's a project hosted on Wikidata. And the goal with the wiki project is to create some order in the mess of all the government agencies that are around in the world. And of course, this is a tricky thing because it's not easy even in the real world figuring out what structures there are. So that's why it's really important to try to work step by step and making it better and better on Wikidata. And secondly, we are reusing this data on an external website. So it's even easier to find the, the institutions than just in Wikidata, which is some, sometimes uh, a bit hard. And uh, doing queries, even though they are powerful, is not uh, very accessible to many people. So this one, this project helps with that. And today, this is going to be a workshop. So uh, we hope that you have your keyboards ready because we would like to, you to work alongside with us. And how this is going to work is that I am going to edit and add one country uh, very slowly in my interface. And you can pick your other country. And I suggest that you either write it in the etherpad or in the chat, the one that you pick so that you don't make duplicates or have edit conflicts, but rather can coordinate if you're if you're choosing to work on the same country. I'm going to work with the example of Finland. So uh, dibs for that. Uh, you, you'll have to pick another one today, but you can, of course, join me in this endeavor later on. And as you see on this uh, wiki page that I'm now scrolling, uh, we have an overview with the uh, vision and mission uh, for the entire progress uh, project. And then we have some guide in how you can improve the data. But this is sort of what I'm going to go through today. So you don't really need to need it right now. We do have a data model for agencies that is a work in progress. And of course, it will vary a little bit by country, but we have tried to write down what is uh, generic for most countries. But I don't think we will go that deep into the specific institutions today or the public bodies. Uh, we're going to have on an overview level and trying to get started with one country. You can also see here that we have some sort of progress indicators. This means how far we have gotten in organizing and structuring the data on Wikidata. Uh, so we'll add a star when we have all agencies on one level, or when we can start querying for them, we get two lists and three when we know this is the list. And then four and five is for even better data on them. Further down, we have the section add your country, and that's where we're going to start today. Uh, below that, we see which ones are already started, so you don't need to pick them again. Uh, luckily or unfortunately, uh, I don't know, it depends on your viewpoint. There are not that many from uh, Central or Eastern Europe yet, but that also means that you have more uh, freedom to pick something here. So here is where we're going to start editing. And now we're loosening up our fingers because now we're going to start typing, hopefully. So I'm going to start adding Finland here. and. What this thing will do is that it will load up a preloaded page with some uh, markup for that page, and it will place it in the right place. So I'll just write the name of the country and press the button, add a new country. And for me, it will start the page Wikidata Wikiproject.gov directory slash Finland. And for you, it will be the country name 
that you are choosing. And then there's a lot of things that we're going to need to do in here. And I'm going to show you slowly what to do. So first in the top, we have a line with a template. This template will make a little bit of a header for this page that we're landing on. And what you need to do is replace this thing with the QID of your country. So I'll delete that and start writing Q. And then I don't remember Finland. So I'll have to uh, uh, open uh, another tab here to see Finland. I think it might be Q33 or something like that, but I'm not totally sure. Oh, it seems to be Q33 says here in the top. All right. So I'll just grab that Q33 and place it after ID the equal sign there. And this, this will be the template that will give us a little bit of a header. It will retrieve some information from the country item that will be helpful to get you, get you started. Secondly, uh, some countries already have added some sort of official external identifier that are being used on perhaps only public bodies. Sometimes, like in Sweden, we have a generic organization number that is being used on all uh, legal persons. Uh, so you, if you have that ID, it's very good to add that here in the top because then other people know, ah, this is something that we need to do. I'm not going to add anything here for now because I don't have the knowledge if there's something for Finland right now. But if, if someone knows it, you or, uh, could uh, leave that in the chat or not in the... Or, or in but, the but this is the country. Is there anything else than the country code that could be an, an identifier for? Y yes. So, so for Sweden, we would use the organization number. For so Sweden, that, does Sweden we, have an organization number? We have organization numbers. Yes. In Sweden, we have numbers for organizations. But does Sweden, the country, have a number? No, 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 but that doesn't matter because we are from the country and below. So we're not on a, a continent level now or EU level or super national level. So we're, we're working on this country and below. So that's the kind of institutions we're going to try to. And uh, I'll, I'll show you here in a little bit. And great, Lars, uh, I, I want this to be interactive. So if you have any questions, just feel free to unmute yourself and ask it or write it in the chat or something. I'll try to, to keep track on it because I want us to actually be working and making progress here. I, this is not mainly a showcase. Uh, so hopefully we'll have a, a, a bunch of countries done here. If you already know there are other useful links, you can do a bullet point list here. I don't know any. And then we have some sections here where we later are going to have some a bunch of queries. For now, I'm just going to replace every place where it says country with Finland, uh, just to uh, go out of the templating state, so to speak. So we had two there. And then I think we have here in the bottom, these, these are going to make some integrality queries later on, so we can prepare the link for that as well. And then finally, here we want to add it to the category. Now I'll remove this change to country here. I'll remove, so this is under the coverage template. All right, and we can remove this one as well. So I added Finland four times here in the bottom. And now, I think we're ready to show a preview. Let's see how it looks like. Here in the top, we can see the header we had. So this one uh, looks for some things that are on the Wikidata item. These ones will hopefully be useful uh, later on. And then we have some sort of 
non-linked things here where we want to make queries later on. And we have some red links. We're going to make some integrality dashboards in a bit. All right, so I'll go ahead and save that, the first little thing. So now we do have a counter here. Uh, it's just empty with the things that we had, but at least that's a start. So I'll also make sure now to add it to the overview page, which we saw be before, so that no one else tries to create this one and uh, we get create a duplicate or something. So under the section, add your country, I will press edit. And now we'll have to wait a little bit for each other because otherwise we will get edit conflicts, I guess. And after, uh, no, before France, I will put in Finland. Uh, I won't assign any st uh, stars to it because I haven't created any queries. I have no idea how the data of this looks like. And I will also add this on the other levels, even though I haven't added anything yet there. Uh, depending on your country, you might have one, two, or three uh, levels below. And now I just publish here so that you can go. And now we see Finland coming up here as a blue link. And I think you can try and start doing this as well, perhaps in some sort of orderly fashion. And as Kirill says here, uh, yes, there are for many European countries open government data where there's it's possible to find data sources for your project. And that's actually going to be key to know that you're finished with any project uh, because you have to have something to compare with to know that did I add all municipalities? Did I add all embassies? Are, uh, are even embassies different legal persons, legal bodies, or are they just one? Uh, that might vary for your country and you need to find the source for that. So I'm going to start uh, making a query here. And sometimes it's easier to not start on the state level because the state level might be more complex. So usually it's easier to start on your first level administrative unit agencies or your second level administrative unit agencies. Uh, this might depend on your country and some local knowledge will help you guide where, where to start. And I'm, I'm gonna start for Finland with the first level because they are not that many. So it should be easy to untangle data as well. And the first thing I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually gonna head to another wiki project and I'm gonna paste this link in the etherpad, uh, which is here. Lars is working on Turkey, and I'm going to put this one resource here. There's another wiki project called Wiki Project Country Subdivisions, which is where they have started to try to figure out what divisions are there. And that's a useful start to see how many there are, there's some sources. Sometimes there are even queries. So I'm going to head over to that URL now and show you what it looks like. This is a huge page. So it'll take some time to load. Oh, no, it didn't. It was super quick today. All right, thank you. And I'll scroll down to Finland. So here they say there's regions of Finland subregions of Finland and municipalities. And there's already a query here for 19. So I'm going to press that one and open up in a new tab. And 
here you see a very simple query. It's just asking for items that are an instance of something. And in this case, there are actually a specific item type for the regions of Finland. And if you have that for your country, you're very lucky because that makes querying much easier. It might be that right now it just says we, that the, they are a region and then they have the country as a separate property. Then you might uh, want to remodel that later on. But for now, we just want to try to find, find this. And this actually also said should be 19, which it said on the page. And let's run the query. It gets 19 results right now. So this is looking quite good for Finland. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy this query link. But, but Finland does not have 19 regions. That, that was in the 70s. They just they, made they, that in 2002. Ten. We formed this and they have now like five regions or something. Uh, they reformed it again in 2010. Oh, really? Yes, they have a very complex history. Yeah. So is, are, are, are these 19 up to date? Uh, that's a good question. So we should perhaps actually find some official source or something like that. <coughs> and we have a good clue like here. So we have this item, region of Finland. We can open that up in a new, let's just do it like this. And hopefully this has an article in some language. Uh, I would guess the Finnish would be a best kind of source here. And this is the state in 2021. And it looks like 19, but let's see if we can see the number 19 as well somewhere. But are these ethnic, uh, ethnographic provinces rather than current political regions? Oh, let's check over 2021 here. Uh, the, these are Sven Swedish landscape that are not used for public authorities. I, I would think they are. I don't, I wouldn't. Uh, 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 let's check this in English, which I can actually read because I can't read Finnish. No, uh, you should be more able than I. Ah, yes. No, so as, as I think this is correct, they are divided in 19 regions and they had landscape in the old days, and then they had uh, uh, counties in between, and now they're back to Landskap, Makunta. So I think this is the regional council of 19, really I don't think. Uh, so they have a very, and these are dates from 31, 31st of December. So yes, I think these are, are the right ones. But this is, uh, will for many, many countries be like this. They have had some sort of restructuring over the years. There might be merging and splitting of items as well, which means that the numbers might be differing. And this is a tricky thing to find things for uh, the official sources. So if you have some sort of statistics bureau or something like that, it will be very helpful on this page. And that's why we ha had but in for, our- For Ukraine, we will have two different opinions, depending if we ask the Statistical Bureau in Kiev or Moscow. Yes. Well, I guess here we would center for the viewpoint of the country we're describing. Right. So because... Crimea, Crimea will end up twice, both as a- Yes. Region of Ukraine and the region of Russia. Yes. yes. Uh, if Russia has turned it into a, a legal yes, entity. They count, it, they count it as one of their 85 yeah. regions. Yes. And Ukraine and, says Russia has 83 regions and Ukraine mm -hmm. is not one of them. Yeah. So, so we have the viewpoint of, and uh, hopefully, 
the data in Wikidata is modeled to take this in, in, in care. Because this will be a tricky thing. We have the uh, very different kind of tricky thing uh, in perhaps in Norway, where Oslo is both a uh, municipality and the level above. And in Sweden, we have Gotland, where Gotland is both a region and a municipality in one, which means they will end up in both places. But uh, we have figured out how to do that in Wikidata. So hopefully that could be possible here as well. But these are the kinds of tricky, tricky things that where, where the world is more complex than you first might think like this should be very easy. We should just find all the municipalities or counties and be able to list them. So which was this big page where you found? found yes, it? so that's in the, I'll put it in the, in the chat as well. It's in the document here, but it's the, the wiki project country subdivisions. And this is not totally done yet. And it, that one is also not really up to date. So, but it can give you a clue and it might give you somewhere to start from. Uh, sometimes the links to the English Wikipedia articles about this are linked so that you can sort of figure out what levels are there. Uh, let's see if I can find my query again. I had it here, so I'll copy this query. I'll head back to the Finland page that I created in the start. And on the first level unit agencies, uh, no edit button. Where is my edit button here? Is this a drive? Let's reload. Ah, there it comes. Strange. So I'll add this one, query for all first. And it should be 19. And it was 19. So I'll add the check. Uh, template there. And as we say here also, if possible, find an official source. And I didn't do that yet. So maybe that maybe should possibly be something that I should do here. Maybe there's some, not there. Was there something, some external link here that could be used perhaps. No, I don't think so. Oh, I'm sorry, may, may I ask the question? Yes. Uh, because uh, luckily I have chosen Ukraine for All right. this uh, <laughs> thing, but it's not a problem with Crimea really. A problem is that inquiry, it duplicates different, different regions with historic regions. So ah. there is different, there is yes. like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, Zakarpatias Oblast. Yes. Would you like to share one. your query somewhere and I could uh, uh, help you? Because this is a common problem uh, because as I said, with splitting and merging, uh, in Wikidata, sometimes we keep the item, uh, but the item is still there, uh, but they might have an end date. So if I can take a look at the query, I, I could give you a few tips here and everyone on, on screen, perhaps. So if you paste that in the chat or in the... Oh, uh, yeah. Give me a minute, please. Yes. Because that's a great question. Uh, and I have trying started now, right now. I'm living in the Netherlands. So I started working on the Dutch municipalities. And they have a very lively administrative history. So they have been starting and ending municipalities all over. Uh, so it's tricky to figure out how it's modeled. Uh, but there we go with something. All right, so I'll, I'm going to copy this one. 
And let's see if I can, oh, it's open it here. So here we select the things to uh, do. We have the Oblast of Ukraine as the thing. We do try to remove the things that have been abolished. Let's say, let's try to run this and see how many we get. We get 45 results. And how, did you have any idea how many it should be? Uh, yes, of course, it should be 24. So. All right. Yes, so we do get this. I guess this one is not active anymore, for example. Uh, yes, of course. It's... So, so yeah, it just picks from different yeah, historic yeah. regions. So let's see how that one is modeled. So this one has a tricky thing. Uh, it has Republic, Sovereign State, Unitarist, Historical Country. All right, let's check again what we had in our query here. We were looking for something that also are subclasses of Oblast. I'm just gonna try to see if that one is the one that's, if I just remove that one, see what happens. It's still 45. That's very strange because it didn't have that. Yeah, I guess it will, it would be the only problem with Ukraine because just uh, last year we had new administrative reform. So uh, mm -hmm. I think yeah, it will be also a problem with the uh, subdivisions of oblasts. But uh, yeah, if we figured out how to make it work yes. with the oblast. Yeah, it will be great. good for now. Why did it, nothing else happen here? That's, so it gets 45, it gets this one, but it should have this one. It clearly says item should have oblast of Ukraine, but it doesn't have oblast of Ukraine here. Why does it even show up? Why is that optional? Oh, we do have another optional here. This one is, no, this is, I'm just going to radically remove all of this for now. Remove the order and group by and make it as simple as possible just to see. So now we get 24 and you said it was 24. So there's something in these optional that adds in other things. Uh, yeah, but it, yeah, it, uh, I should have said that it will be 24, like only oblasts, but plus uh, autonomous, yeah, autonomous Republic of Crimea, but it should be like in different query, am I right? Yes, yes. so I would, I would mm -hmm. suggest okay. to try to query for each level uh, in one query, uh, because that mm -hmm. also makes it easier to search for any sort of inconsistencies, because if you get a huge list like it's even hard, like when I was working with the Swedish municipalities, they are 290. And that's enough that you can't see everyone at once. So if you get something like 289 or 291, it's hard to see which one is missing or if there's a duplication somewhere. Uh, but if you're, if you're working with sets of like 24, uh, it's much easier. So as if it's possible, that uh, should be done. And if there's like in Ukraine, 24 regions and one other thing, you could also make a sub query and add it in to the same query. Oh, yeah, great. 
So in, in Russia, these are called federation subjects, and they can be either oblasts or republics. Yes. Uh, yeah, also there is Kreis. So, yes. Okay. So, yeah, so, so even so more. Is if, this reflected in, in Wikidata? I if think it is. Such as federation subject, which could be then either. Yeah, I think that's usually the case. And one trick you can do here is uh, you can use the the values thing in Wikidata where you say I, I want to have like something that I call type and then you can list all of the so you can list this one here and then you could also list the type of autonomous republic of Crimea as another whatever it has here let's see if I can find that and show you so we can get to 25 here I'm gonna search Wikidata Duh. Because the, the city of Moscow, I think, is a separate federation mm -hmm. subject separate yeah. from the old. Yes. So it's. They have their own city. Yeah. So in, in Ukraine, we also have this. So Kyiv uh, uh, as a capital is also different yeah. uh, and uh, city of Sevastopol. But I'm not sure whether uh, yeah, we should add them here. So they might send uh, their own senator, for example, to if there is a senate or upper house of parliament. So they play a role and have their own authorities. Yeah. And things. Let's see if I get too many here. Now I get 26. So now I also got city with special status for some reason. Hmm. Which... Yeah, have two of them. This one. You have two of them, all right. Yeah. The English label might be just strange. Perhaps. Now the Dutch is more clear, but the others are, are direct translations. Well, the others say city with special status. Like All right, so, so this is not Dutch, a specific. The Dutch says Ukrainian city with. Yes, so this is this is a type rather than a specific city. So this shouldn't right. be an instance of should, a region of two, Ukraine. This should be a subclass. Category. Yeah. Yes. I but I mean this is not this is not a city. This is a type of something. Is it? Yes. It's a, yes. So, yes, so it shouldn't be an instant. This is not one region of Ukraine. This is a type of regions uh, of Ukraine. So uh, this uh, instance yeah. of here uh, throws us off a little bit. Now, I, my gadgets... Oh, I'm not logged in. Oh, I should log in. So I get my gadgets here. Uh, so I'm going to move that statement from... Inst oh, no, of course, it turns to Swedish. Let me change that for you. English be a little bit easier for both of us. So I'm going to move this statement from being an instance of to being a subclass of uh, on the same entity, and that's P279. So I'll move that claim. If I reload here, we'll see it's a subclass now. Wait, still there? Mm -hmm. What Maybe happened? you already had the subclass below. Let's check the view history here, what I did. I didn't do anything. All right. So we that was already there, so it didn't do anything. So I'll just delete this one then. There we go. Because this is not an instance of anything. It's, it's a subclass. And now it'll take some time for it seems to be lagging two minutes. So if I run this now, I'll probably get 26 again, but now it should be right with the 25. So this is a value we could use or, or a query we could use for the first subdivision level of Ukraine. So I'll paste that in the chat. And yeah, thanks. Here. And 
this is already a, a, a good start here. We, we're getting somewhere. We created our first query. Uh, and we, of course, digging for sources takes more time uh, than we, we'll do today. So I'm just going to try to, I'm going to reload this one. Did I do the first one? Not logged in. Let's see. Page. Now I'm logged in and let's say this. Uh, so we have query for all first level administrative unit agencies should be 19 with a check. And this means that for our star model progress indicators is we can produce produce a complete and accurate list of all current agencies on this level. So I can go ahead now and add Finland to having two stars over here. So I'll add, do that first. Uh, I'll copy two stars from Canada, add Finland. Two stars for Finland. And finally, I think the last thing I'm going to show you now is the, the dashboards feature, which is really useful as well to see that you're making progress. And as we saw here on the Finland page, we already had a subheading for coverage, but we all only had red links. Uh, and since we just completed the, the first level agencies, we, we can start with that one because we have a query that we can use. So I'm going to click on this one to, and here, unfortunately, we haven't set up any templating system. So you'll have to copy this from another country. And I suggest for now that you'll use Sweden because that's the one we have been working uh, the longest time on, so it's probably most complete. And so you navigate to Sweden, but there should be useful ones on other countries as well. And then I'll go down to the first level agencies. It's useful to know that these are sub pages included on the page. So if I click edit here, I won't see anything. Uh, that's, we have this first link, which is actually linking to the page where it's on. Uh, so that's also useful when you want to update this dashboard, because it's not possible to do it from here. Even though you see the link manually update here, it, it uses the URL for the page, and then it takes the wrong page. So first click through here. So you come to the sub page named very similarly to the one we're going to edit. And then we can go in and edit source and start copying things. So this is using a template and a system called property dashboard. That's the name of the template. And sometimes the tool is called integrality. And it's really useful for these kinds of stuff. And this page is really long because this one has the data for Sweden. We got, we're not going to need that data. So what we're going to need is the first template. And then we'll take the, the first line as well to give us the link there. And then we're going to need the bottom. So I'll copy first the top, the, uh, everything above the wiki table. So I'll copy that to my Finland page. I go back here and I'll go to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, and I'll copy the end here as well. Oh, and now I couldn't navigate here. There we are. And I'll just add that. And in this empty space, when this tool runs, it will fill that with the data. 
Now, there's a few things I'm going to need to change here because this one refers to Sweden while we are on the Finland page. So we need to change the country we're copying this from. And that's in the top there and in the bottom in the category as well. So we get them ordered properly. And then the last thing is the query itself. This one asks for uh, Swedish regions. And as you can see, this one is a little bit more complex than the first one we saw for Finland, because here we're using the Sweden and the first level administrative unit. But we had a simpler one for Finland. So let me see if I can find my query for Finland. This was, this is the query for Finland. And this is just one line. And uh, the tricky part with this tool is that it adds this first automatically. So you only need uh, to take, you need to leave out the first var variable. And the variable, if you're using it several times, need to be named entity, not item. Uh, and it's in the documentation very clearly, but it's worth mentioning again. So here I'm just replacing everything here. You can also see here it starts directly with a BDT. So that should do it. Uh, I'm gonna just press save here and run the bot and see if we get an error. I, so it saves it nicely and let's try to manually update here. This usually takes some time, but this is a rather simple query, so it might be quick. Oh, so I get an error here. And I can see here, I shouldn't even have added the, the first period. Uh, that was because it adds one in the query itself. So it has some sort of uh, troubleshooting here. So let's go in, edit here, remove this. Bot, save again, and hopefully now it will run. Now it timed out and I think it's because it's having a count of more than 20. That's the default value of the query. Uh, unfortunately, there's only 19. <laughs> so we'll have to change that manually. Sweden has 21, so I didn't need to change it there. And we, I don't even have the, uh, the para parameter from the from it here, so I'll need to go to property dashboard here, all right? And you can see here, it has something called grouping threshold. Default is 20. So that's why our query failed. So I'll add that here as a new thing. I'll say 19, let's hope for the best. Should be fine now. It says a green updated. Now we'll see some stats here for this page. I'll zoom out a little bit so we see a little bit for the entire page. You don't need to really see the numbers here. Uh, and of course, you can change the columns to reflect on what you're working for at the moment. You don't need to use this, but I, we, since we're trying to get contact details, we had that in the start, uh, but it's also good to have the the basic things like inception country where it is in and perhaps the head of the government 
So here we can see what we have done. So this is a good start. They seem to be fairly well modeled, at least on some aspect. Uh, they don't all have inception dates yet. We have very few heads of governments on these items. Everyone but one has a website. That's good because that's where you can find more information usefully, usually. And if we go back on this page and reload it now, it'll of course pull that one in because that page has now been created. And I think we're at time. Uh, yes, uh, I wanted to remind you that we are nearing the yes. end of this session. Yes, so we, and uh, this was what I wanted to show. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, we have uh, a raised hand by Streno. So I think right. uh, we have some time uh, for a brief uh, comment or question. Yes, just go ahead. Hey, Jan. Uh, thank you for the demo. It was quite interesting. Um, so um, I have two, two observations on this. Mm -hmm. It's quite time consuming to set up, uh, it seems. Um, and on the other hand, I feel that all these tables and sub pages could be generated uh, automatically. And I was wondering why not to do that? Um, yes, that's a good point. And the second question is um, your social networking is very Western oriented. So for <laughs> former USSR countries, you'll have an issue because many, um, uh, I know they, they use different, um, different networks for communicating and also um, in China as well. Yes, yes, that's correct. That's good observations. So for the first one, uh, we could set up more sub uh, pages uh, or, or prepare more easily. The thing we, why we haven't done this is we also want to make this sort of uh, give us a visual clue on where there's anyone actually working. Because if you invest the time in setting it up, you're probably going to continue doing things on that level as well. So we'll actually know that there's something happening. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't encourage you to just go about and create things and then leave the project and don't come back. I don't think that's really helpful. Um, but of course, that's it is, it is in some ways it is a help, but it also gives you a false hope. And for the second one, yes, uh, we are aware that it's a Western perspective and we're thinking about how to, of course, in the dashboards, you can just change that to the relevant social media networks to whatever is, if it's a VK or by do or uh, any other things. I, I'm not really knowledgeable in this. Uh, but we can also define it in the interface on the website per country, perhaps. Uh, I didn't even show you that. Uh, I'll, I'll very quickly run over here because there's a link here in the top. And if you go to the govdirectory.org, we have the, uh, all the, the countries that have gone over this certain threshold of data. Uh, like this. And here, yes, it, this one is Western specific because here we have the five big ones in Sweden defined. So you would, you would like to find this out through a query. Like you take all the agencies you can find in Sweden and see um, what are yes. the top um, social websites they link to. And you make uh, that the list the top five there will be the columns for that country. I don't even uh, think this yeah. is enough because you'd have embassies, right? That would uh, use the local social media, I would expect. Yeah, sometimes they do. I don't think the Swedish one does though, because they, if I go, did I have? Here we have the embassies, the Swedish embassies, and I think they're only using Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, wherever they are in the world. 
uh, is. So okay. I think it, it seems it, a bit it, misguided. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I, I think it's time to uh, end the session because in five yes. minutes we have to yes. continue with another one. Yes. Uh, thank yeah, you, thank Jan, you Jan, for uh, this uh, great workshop. I hope that uh, everyone participating uh, learned uh, new things and uh, people are now ready to add their country to the Gov directory project. Uh, if you uh, have uh, any questions to Jan, uh, I hope that uh, you can uh, contact him and uh, he will do his best to, to answer them. Yes, you're free to contact me anywhere and I'll, I'll try to help you. Uh, thank you.